Welcome back to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. Secretary of State John Kerry told senators behind closed doors in recent days that the administration's Syria policy is a failure. So why is the White House continue to press for peace talks that are going nowhere? I've got Hoover Institution senior fellow Fuad Ajami here to discuss. Uh, Fuad, this admission Thank strikes you. me as a pretty big deal, isn't it? It's amazing. Th these remarks were made in Munich in this Munich conference, which is a kind of a semi-official gathering. And it's incredible because we have the testimony of Senator Lindsey Graham, a senior member in the Senate. And he basically says remarkable things attributed to Secretary of State Kerry, that the Syria policy is a failure, that the Syria policy needs to change. And lo and behold, there's gambling going on at tricks. The Russians are playing us for fools and the Syrian regime lies and doesn't turn over its chemical weapons even. And even as it is using barrel bombs to terrorize the rest of the country. It's a remarkable moment for the Secretary of State and for the administration. And if the Secretary of State is serious, he'd have to think about resigning, I would think. Well, that's a big call for yeah. resignation. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, though, the White House is saying, let's continue with the peace talks. They went nowhere uh, last week. The two sides can't even agree on humanitarian aid. You know, Mary, even Lakhdar Ibrahimi, who has never called any <laughs> set of negotiations a failure, he now says these are failed negotiations. Nothing was accomplished. And it began in a kind of, the Syrian regime gave you every indication they intended to play the world for a fool. They sent Walid al-Mu'allim, this gangster foreign minister who mocked the proceedings, who talked to his heart's delight. And when the Secretary General of the UN tried to stop him and limit him to any particular set of minutes, he refused. From the beginning, this was a fraud. We also have news out, and the White House has now admitted this, uh, that Syria is not giving up its chemical weapons as promised. So uh, how do we move forward here? What's the right next step? Well, we don't. I mean, there's nothing to move forward on. You have a regime which is using barrel bombs to kill hundreds of people. Meaning they're throwing exactly. barrels out of planes with explosives in them. You, you also have a regime that's using starvation as a weapon against its own people. And then they go to Geneva and make a mockery of the negotiations and make a mockery of Secretary Kerry and others. And so what do we do? I mean, if you stick to these negotiations, you are sticking to a failed policy. You have to have the moral courage to say, we now go back and we must rethink whether we use force against this, this regime. And if we don't, then nothing is really of any use. For about a minute left, the yeah. other news out this weekend and from uh, Secretary Kerry's remarks is that the al-Qaeda threat within Syria is growing. It's becoming mm -hmm. very serious. Uh, is that a threat, uh, not just to our allies in the region, but to us to have another safe haven for Al-Qaeda? You know, Mary, there was no surprise about this. And anyone could have made that call that if we don't come to the rescue of the Syrian people, then more and more jihadists will make their way to Syria. So now there are something like one estimate I, I, I just saw, 26,000 members of Al-Qaeda, jihadists, have made their way to Syria. And the Syrian people, having despaired of the rest of the world coming to the rescue, are forced to rely on these killers and these bandits. Okay, Hoover Institution Senior Fellow Fuad Ajami, thank you very much.